Hello, and welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. Well, we are back at base. I'm uh, just going to have a quick check and see what, what it's like outside. Yep, still nice and light. Because when I left uh, Outpost Zero, I actually got this message popped up. So I haven't listened to it yet, but let's have a look at this. I know the brightest ideas can flourish in the middle of nowhere, but geez, it's practically off the map. Who names an inhabitable place Outpost Zero? Sounds like a prison. Most people would jump at the opportunity to get paid and sit and do nothing. Not Sam. She was always ready to work, and always looking to make things better. I can't believe Altera cut her down while she was just getting started. And they have the nerve to call her negligent? I think they drove her to an extreme. What did they want Sam to do out there? Fix faulty wiring kits and... I don't know, write poetry to pass the time? Nothing wrong with poetry, but they hired her to do what she was best at, build robots. She must have been miserable out here. Yeah, I thought that might just, like shed more uh, ideas, give us more clues as to what on earth's going on, but never mind. The plan still is the same, where we learned a lot more by going over to Outpost Zero. What we've learned is that, well, Sam, well, she didn't feel as if she was getting anywhere with this Leviathan and the Kara virus. So she decided to take matters into her own hands and apparently she's left a cure. At least that's the last we heard. So it's a case of, as far as we can tell, the base, uh, fire robotics base is over here. The cave is over there because she said she'd left a, the actual cure for this virus in a little like cave, if you will, where the uh, spy penguins can get in. So this this one here is highlighted, and she said it was about southeast of the cave. So it looks like that's where the cave is. And that's where the sp uh, where we need to take a spy penguin. So I'm just checking my inventory. Yeah, I don't have one with me. So I've been building some extra storage while I've been uh, off camera. So we've now got a spy pengling, we've got the remote to control it, so we've actually also got a fridge as well, which is quite cool. So I've been keeping some fish in here, I've also been keeping one of those old mountain fruits, just out of curiosity to see if these uh, actually go off. So there's no like, sign of decay on these ones, this, this had already decayed by the time I put it into the fridge, whereas the fish, well they went in fresh. So that's quite good that I must admit. So anyway, the plan is... Ugh, it's getting dark. Uber. Right. We're going to grab some sleep because I can't build anything out there anyway. Oh, I put I put some little photographs out. So this is Potato. <laughs> that's, that's Sam's cat as far as I'm aware. I think Robin was actually looking after her cat. So yeah, anyway. We're going to grab some sleep and then we're going to head back to Fire Robotics. The plan is, I'll, I'll have to see what the weather's like over there, because it's, it's really cold. I think we might struggle to get to this cave, but we'll see. Now, there is one thing I actually want to do. Yeah, I'll tell you what, what I am going to do first is... I'm going to head over to the emergency pod over there, because... Well, I want to get some flares first. We should have quite a few of them. And I'll be able to use them to fend off the stalkers. Because I remember reading somewhere where it said that uh, you can use flares to just like fend off the wildlife. Those stalkers, if you've seen them in the trailer, yeah, they, they look pretty brutal, I must admit. <laughs> so it's a case of uh, that. I'm, I'm going to need something anyway. I mean, the idea is we use the spy penguin to get the fur. Because... That's what we're missing. I've got some uh, fiber mesh, but I need uh, fur from the uh, snow stalkers. So I'm gonna have a look in here. I think I've left some flares in here. Oh wow, I've got all of these uh, posters still lying around. Well, wow, what about all these? I should really take them back to the main base. I really meant to empty, empty the place out. Right, so I've got plenty of flares anyway. Oh, 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 close. Truth, that's not helping. I know, that's a thought. I don't think I ever built a repair tool. I'm pretty sure I've got the, the blueprint. 
blueprints for it. Because I got that when I... Yeah, I got the blueprints for that when I built the, the actual scuba tank. Right, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. So there's outpost zeros out there. So fire robotics is out over there. So, yeah, I think I'll try and gauge what the weather's like to see if it's worthwhile building this cold suit. Because there's other places to uh, to investigate while we're out there. Oh, it's so yeah, it's a case of do we need to make the cold suit to be able to do what we need, can we? Because if you can jump from sort of one cave to another, then you're usually fine. Well, I can get some, uh, I can probably get some of the food that belongs us up. Let's just check, actually. I brought that with me just on the only chance. I've still got a thermal, so that's a kind of a last resort to boost. I mean, if there's things like the, uh, the flowers, they can heat you, they can warm you up. And there's also those fevered plants or whatever they were, they've got uh, a boost to your heat as well. So we're heading, it's quite a ways to go. Ah, there is it, there, there, there's the conduit. You see, there's this big conduit there, so our base is over there. And there's this big conduit, now it, it actually goes all the way up to the surface, which is interesting. So it goes right up to the surface and then it comes, I think it comes back down again. It does it. So it runs up to there. I've got to be really careful because those jellyfish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Run away! Tell you what, let's, do, let's just ignore that, or the fact that there's those blooming jellyfish there. I don't want, to, I don't want my sea truck getting destroyed. Probably won't be as bad as last time because at least I don't have the, uh, the uh, you know, I don't have the actual upgrade that I, that was kind of a one-off, I just happened to get that pretty easy. So there's the landing beacon. Right, I'm going to park over here so we're, we're well away from these crazy jellyfish. That doesn't sound nice. What was that? What the heck was that? I don't know what it was, but I'm, I don't like it. It's funny how that keeps resetting every time the, the game restarts. It doesn't remember your settings for some reason. Right, I'm leaving that there, and we're going to make a mad dash around the fire robotics. Because I don't have a base here, uh, which means I can't actually make anything here. I'll, I'll have to go all the way back to base. But we could go up there if we wanted to. I'm just conscious of the temperature. I mean we're on we're on hardcore so it's well yeah it's well of death. I don't even have a save game to restore. It's just that's it. But if if, uh, if we die, well tough. <laughs> it is what it is. Actually did I bring any water? I can't believe it. I didn't even bring any water. Jeez love please. Actually what do we get for that? Oh, now that's good. That, now that is good. I like that one because if you think like the coffee, for example, and those lantern fruits, they take your water away. These things actually give you water, so these are actually ideal for this sort of environment. Right, right. Coming to the edge of the, the cave here, so we're still we're still warm anyway. So according to that map, there's this glacial basin here. Now we've got a spy penguin. So we can deploy that at some point. Put that into there. And we're going to make a mad dash just out of here. So there's uh, fire robotics over there. So really, I want to look for either a, a cave or I need to find a, a plant. It looks like it's a cave over there. So there's a path out there. Oh, it's a fragment for a snow fox. I think we need another two. Yeah, one, two of three. Right, so we're into a little cave here. So, tell you what, seeing as we need food and water, I may as well top up and then I'll get some more of these. What are these things? Fevered peppers. Okay. Right, so we can head up here, for example. And that just takes us further up here. Although we could have gone down there. Oh, 
Run away! <laughs> right, so... Oh, it's coming this way. This is not good. I don't, I don't think they climbed down, can they? Maybe it's too narrow anyway. Oh, I got stuck on the I got stuck on the rock there. Right, we're gonna put this little thing down here. Go on. Right, so what I can do then, so I put that in my hot bar. Right click that. So going undercover. Okay, so you're, you're pretending to be a, an actual penguin. Now where did that crazy thing go to? The plan was to go and try and find uh, the actual um, cave, but where the heck did that thing go? Oh, there it is. Right, so I'm going to sneak up on this. I'm assuming there's some sort of like, distance limitation. Yeah, you can see it's starting to get amber, or yellow I should say, we'll get the warnings got too bit too far. But I am going to see if I can sneak there. So if I left click I can try and get some bits fur. That's one. <laughs> can I get some more of your fur? Two. Three. Four. I think white. Maybe our inventory's full. Ooh! I think it probably got a bit annoyed that we we're stealing its fur. Right. Let's see, Let's see, I, see if we've got enough, because uh, I've got enough fibre, but it's all back at base. The uh, question is, do we have enough fur here? So that's pretty easy to get it. I'm surprised it didn't have tried to attack, to be honest, and uh, destroy it. So there you go. I learn new things every day. Right, so there's Robin back there. Right, so let's have a look. Nope, nope, we can't try and click. Come on, click. Nope, we can't try and uh, click anything from you. Right, so... Okay. Right, so it should have some in storage. Yes, yeah, so it's limited as four. Right, so... We have a look for the cold suit. Where's the cold suit? I seriously could do with, like, a search option on this thing. We could set. Well, I forgot. Actually, I forgot about that. We we learned a blueprint for the control room as well. Right. So where's the blueprint for the cold suit? There it is. There. So we need two, three. Oh no, that that is just. I'm sure that is sheer coincidence that we've got exactly the right amount. Right. So we'll pack that back up. Then. So that's good then. So we've got enough fur to make the uh, to make a cold suit. But what I'm interested in is how to get to to here. Well, that could be tricky. So I'm trying to figure out where it is. What if we head up here? Doesn't sound good. Ah, now these these look like these little these little areas by the looks of it where the uh, the spy penguins little spy king spy penguin caves are these sort of things here. Yeah, I'm not liking this. Oh, there's another fragment we can get. I'm not liking this because the temperature's going down seriously low. I'm not seeing anything obvious in terms of where to go to get to this cave. I mean, that kind of gives me a clue down there, but... Hmm. Let's grab one of them. That'll warm us up. Ooh. That's good. So it looks like we need to get... Ah, oh! Actually, let me set that. I'm pretty sure these will... Yeah, won't come anywhere near us. 
Oh no! Why can't I? S <laughs> I wanted to scan it, but I can't scan it while I've got the flare. Right, so at least it keeps it away. Now the, the trouble is, we're getting seriously cold. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head back to base and make this cold suit. Yeah. It's getting dark anyway, to be fair. And I'm trying to figure out how on earth I get back. I would go back down this way. Right, so yeah, I think I'm just going to head back to base because I think, I, I think it makes more sense. There's, incidentally, when you're out here, there's lots of this, uh, you know, metals are just stashed away in little cubby holes. So right, that's a priority. Let's head back to base and get ourselves a cold suit built. Well, I've been back to base and we've now got ourselves a cold suit, but we did get a warning once it was made that it's a case of it, it doesn't prevent you getting hypothermia, it just delays the onset. So it's just a case of we won't be getting as cold as quickly we will still potentially freeze to death. I'm taking a slightly different route this time round because you can see there there's the door there, there's like a little puddle there, it's a bit deceptive but there's a little puddle there and there's a puddle there and there's this, this thing here so the path we've kind of followed is this way by the looks of it and I think we're going to hit this little puddle because I was having a bit of an explore around here so there's the, the landing pad, so that's what that is, it's a landing pad, so that's where the beacon is, so we'll just literally just follow this around, just keeping to the right, I'm going to be a bit careful because there's a, one of those snow stalkers, oh there it is, so I'm just kind of like sticking to the right now, you know, spook that, keep it away. <laughs> So if I just stick to the right, when you can see the temperature's going down, just not as quickly. But if I stick to the right here, there's a there's a light there that Altera's put in. And I've noticed there's this ladder that goes down. So the interesting thing is, where does that go to? So we're going to put that back on got a tank, we don't have any gloves anyway and we don't have a suit so it doesn't really matter. But I definitely want to keep the, the rebreather. So if we jump into here, it looks like this is going to lead us somewhere. Ah, right, it would help. So where is this going to go to? For that matter, why did they actually make it? Why did they put that ladder in here? I mean, what did they... I wonder what the spot when they came here. Anyway, well, there's a heat vent there. Let's keep going down along here. Looks like there's a way out there. So that's where we'll come out at. By following that path, which is interesting. So this is that... It looks to be this... Um, landing pad that, that's referenced on the map. This place here. So that's interesting. So, oh, bumping into the penguins. Ah, what do you know? By the mesh. Right, I'm going to have to be careful to keep an eye out for these snow storgers. So let's see. So there's the landing pad over there. There's a heat vent over there. I just saw that one again. Oh, it's a frosted sinew tree. Yeah. So there's a cave going somewhere. Oh, snow stalkers. I probably don't want to go in there then. <laughs> right, so if we just hog this side. Oh, hang on, there's a. There's a ladder over on the other side, I've noticed. That might make sense, because that's that there. 
Because if we head over to there, then potentially over there, maybe? Right, let's, uh, let's there's some water. So we can just jump across. I'm taking a bit of a risk here, because if I get stuck, I don't think there's an option to get unstuck. Oh, a snow fox fragment. I think I've already got all of the fragments. Yeah, I've already got all of the fragments anyway. Dangerous weather approaching. Oh, Seek shelter. Are kidding me? Now is not the time to be getting uh, caught up by snow and bad weather. I can't just dive into this little cave here, I suppose. Alright, so there's more cave areas around here. It's not specifically where I'm trying to look for, I'm just admit, but... Because <laughs> I'm trying to find out where this spike thing is. Look at that. Stuck up on flares. Uh, yeah, so this is a, just a just a warning about using flares and how they, how they can help you against the, the snow stalkers. Food. Flares. Fiber mesh. Water. Something I can actually do with, to be honest. So I think that just heads back to where we passed by a minute ago. Yeah, that was the down ladder there. Okay. Let's see where this ladder heads to. Because at the moment we're okay. I mean, she was she was warning about bad weather. But at the moment, while we're in this cave, like, we can hear the snow. Ooh, that could be bad. So we've got little little posts here, so at least we know how Terra's been around here. Plenty of fragments, it seems. I mean, if I can find a vent, that might help me. Because that'll help warm me up. Yes, there's a vent over there, for instance. Looks like the weather's quieting down. That's Delta Station, that's my base. Hmm. Not sure if this direction's really helping. Because it's not like doubling back on ourselves by the looks of it. At least there's a light. Ah, now that looks like the ramp would have come up before. Anyway, well, let's head back again. Take advantage of that. Oh, I think that vent's just suddenly stuffed. That's a pity. Could have probably gotten some heat out of that. Nope. <laughs> so you've got to time them. No! Yeah, Keep heading back in this direction then. So it's down there, I think, that we were at. Yeah, so we've kind of like come all the way up here. So we'll try and head in the opposite direction and see if that helps. Because we must be on the other side now. I think we must have been heading in that direction, but we want to be heading in that westerly direction there. Oh, so I can grab that vent in time. Ah, good, good, good. So I think, I think we're above here somewhere. Because there's, that's where that landing pad is there. Well, it's not such a landing pad, it's the pad is, it's, like, it's not for like that, that, that type of shovel. Then we've got this 
arch coming down. So according to that, it seems to imply you come over the arch and then it should be around over on the right somewhere. Um, well, it sounds like there's one of the little baby ones. So there's a... So it looks like we're on the right path because there's the one coming out there. Uh, pick up a pingling. <laughs> So you're a penguin, so the, the adults are penguins, and the babies are penglings. What's that? Right, let's have a look. So there's a big cave over there. Hello, what's this? That looks like something in there to me. Look, I'm seeing what looks like a. See, there's a. There's a crate inside of there. Right, tell you what. Let us get our little penguin out. Oh, we've already got it. So. Put a penguin down. Stay still. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this. Uh, hang on. Nope, I didn't want to pick a small one and pick up the flare. So I need to, I need to make sure that, that thing doesn't go in here. Go away. Oh! <laughs> that wasn't the plan. <laughs> oh, strange. Stay away. I'm, I'm not liking this one I order. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to drop the flare. So if I drop this flare on the ground... I mean, do I have to wave the flare around, or is it going to spook it off like that? Let's see if I'm going to spook it off. Go away. Go on, shoot. Go and find somebody else to harass. Right, hopefully that'll work. Right, so I need to turn around. So, maybe. So there's Robin over there. Oh, I'm going to have to be really careful here. Ooh. Ah, ha ha. Yeah, she said this is the antidote. Sam must have stashed this here. She was going to use this antibacterial agent to neutralize the bacterium. I'm just having a bit of a snoop around to see if there's anything of interest, but I think this probably takes precedence, really. Oh! <gasps> oh, my Gideon! Oh, cool! Oh! Oh! I did not know there was magnetite in here. Oh, wow! Oh! That is awesome, that. That... Oh wow, there's more down there. Oh wow, well, I think I've already. Oh, phew, we didn't break. There's more magnetite here. Oh, groovy. Oh, excellent. Sound like Bill and Ted. Right, let's bring this back to, to Robin. I'm going to get that magnetite while I'm at it. Oh, that is just. Brilliant, that is. Right, they're going to exit out. I'm going to get these little bits and... Bobs. And we're going to go back in there. Oh, that, that... 
I'm glad you are, mate, because I mean, this is this is just awesome. I I never knew that it was magnetite in this place. So there's a there was Dangerous a piece of weather approaching. Seek shelter. Oh. Don't be telling me that now. This is a bad time to be telling me these things. I think it's just quartz now. Hang on, hang on, that sounded bad. That sounded like really bad. Nah, I'm not spotting any more. I think that might be our limit. But that's brilliant because it means I'll be able to make the uh, heads up display chip now. And we'll be able to get a range uh, boost on that scanner as well. Oh, that's brilliant, that. Oh, wow, that is extremely cool. Right, so we're going to come back here. We'll grab that. We've got our spy pingling, so I'm gonna grab that. Oh no! Now is not the time to run out of heat. Right, pick our flare up. Ah, oh, inventory full. Grr. Right, well, I may as well eat that. Eat that and grab that. Now I think I'm gonna make a beeline for that. Uh, that cave, so we can stay out of the, out of the bad, this bad weather, because we're getting colder. Oh, brilliant! Oh, that has just made my day. That has. Oh, brilliant! Right, may as well eat some of these. So that it's obviously degrading. That's the only drawback. They do degrade over time. Quite quickly, you know. I would have thought they would have lasted longer with us being out in like you know really cold weather outside. But these things are really good, just for the fact you know they they don't just like heat you up. They're they're giving you quite a bit of food and water, so these are ideal. I think I'm going to take some of these back to the base because we've also now learned the uh, the actual interior grow bed. So that means we've now got the antidote. I don't actually I don't need any snowballs. So here we've now got three magnetite. Oh, brilliant. So that means that we make the hood chip and extend the range. I don't think we can do... Yeah, we can't go any further with that because we need synthetic fibres. That is just brilliant, that. Well, so we came out here to... Well, we actually came out, out here looking for this cave, to be honest. <laughs> that was the plan. I came out here to try and find the cave and to try and find the... Uh, then I was going to come here. Because the plan was, oh well, let's see you know, where we're at. But it sounds like Sam obviously didn't cure that Leviathan then, because we've actually got the, the actual cure now uh, on us. So what we did is we came out uh, from by robotics and we, we, we came into that little pool there, if you will. Uh, went underneath the water and then popped out here and worked our way around to get to here. I mean, we could have come in another slightly older, older path, we could have just gone in that direction, I suppose, but yeah, why not? Hey, may as well spice things up. So there you go. The queue was still there, meaning Sam never completed her mission, because her goal, really, she was trying to, uh, to neutralise that virus, and it looks like she never got around to doing it. So in which case, we've now got to find a way to get from here uh, up to there, now, I'm pointing in a southerly direction, which is interesting, so we might actually be over here. Because there's the... We might actually be in this cave here, by the looks of it. And I think it, you can see it looks as though it heads out into that area. If so, then that could get us to where the cave is and where the, the Leviathan is. But that's all for another episode. <laughs> 